When I was nine years old, I was growing up in Tulsa, Oklahoma, and I have memories of hiking up the rivers in Oklahoma and jumping off rope swings and finding snakes and frogs and touching the shale and watching it break off the side of the river. And those are some of the best memories of my life. And so I very much credit my experience being in the outdoors and going to summer camps and then also assisting with those as a teen volunteer with really kind of forming the connection that I had with nature at an early age. And so I couldn't imagine anything more wonderful than using my time as an adult to teach people and inspire them to care about the nature and the wildlife around them. Be able to understand again how to connect that wildlife with their neighborhood so, or their daily you know, routine. For example, a yellow warbler that we have here at Chatfield State Park, yellow warblers are gonna spend their summers here with us. Then they're gonna go on this amazing migration journey all the way down to Costa Rica. And their primary role when they're down there is to eat insects off of coffee plantations and help keep our coffee plantations healthy. And so then that allows you to be able to have your morning cup of coffee every day because those coffee plantations rely on a number of different songbirds. Um, and bats are another great example. I love bat programs. We have four species of bat here at the state park and a lot of times bats get a bad reputation but I like to ask people okay well who loves cashews who loves avocado who loves guava and mango if we didn't have any bats on the planet all of those food groups would go away what are some things that you can do um, you know so that you're able to really help these animals or help this habitat that now you've learned a little bit more about um, and also to help protect it